Michelle, some Los Alamitos residents, <clears throat> excuse me, urged the council to vote no because they were concerned about the possibility of a lawsuit, but only one member voted against the ordinance. Aye. 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 Yeah, opposed. No. In a four to one vote, the Los Alamitos City Council passed an ordinance to exempt itself from the California Values Act, known as the Sanctuary State Law. Dozens of people for and against the ordinance went before the City Council. This is also an offensive endorsement of the Trump administration's racist and anti immigrant agenda. The city must follow all state law even if you don't agree with it. The state law limits the involvement of state and local law enforcement in federal immigration enforcement. Councilman Warren Kusumoto, who wrote the ordinance, says the state law makes it impossible to honor their oath to support and defend the U.S. Constitution. It's not political, it is our governance. We are a charter city. If the state can ignore federal law, then by the same token, our city should be able to ignore state law. Several people in the audience who addressed the council agree. We have the law of the land and that constitution says that the federal government is in charge of immigration law, not the state of California. Outside council chambers where an overflow crowd watched on TV monitors, people on both sides debated the legal and moral issues at stake. The law of the land of California is that we should not collaborate with ICE in seeking to intimidate immigrant communities in order land. to allow our police to be able to serve without fear. That's what I believe and that's what we're teaching. And here's the Are you a Los Alamitos resident? No, I'm, in, I'm, from a res, I'm from a county where we are following the Constitution. And the debate over this ordinance drew people from other cities and other counties who are very opposed to the state law. And they hope that other city councils will follow this one's lead.